skies will be lighting up with fireworks in just two days, and so will 911 lines. Emergency response dispatchers face a flood of calls on the 4th. Uba Ali shows us how one county is embracing technology to save time and potentially lives. Every call answered. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Could be a matter of life or death. Two shots heard. 911 dispatchers, the first line of defense coordinating life saving help. The 4th of July is probably our busiest holiday that we see. An average day, about 1,900 calls come into Hennepin County's emergency communications facility. On the 4th, that number spikes. In 2021, over 2,700 calls came in in 24 hours. Non emergency fireworks complaints flood the system, meaning one less dispatcher available for a crime in progress, a medical emergency, or a fire. We would um, ask that people call our non-emergency number or any non-emergency number for where you're at um, if you do just need to call in a, a fireworks nuisance complaint. And I'm going to get some help out there. As the calls start to roll in on this 4th of July weekend, Anoka County's 911 center is tapping into AI to screen those non-emergency calls. Anoka County, this is automated call taker. Eric, how can I help you? To ease the workload and get to more calls. What happens is somebody calls in here and when one of our operators answers the phone, they determine if it's an emergency or not. The call will be transferred to the automated system to collect details before sending it back to the dispatcher. It's going to save us, we think, about two to three minutes per call. And that's freeing up those call takers to get those priority calls. Saving critical time when every second counts. I'd like to report somebody shooting off fireworks. Okay, I can help with that. Uba Ali, WCCO News.